Hi everyone, Stock Mo here with Old Tesla Cat. Give it a, a good day to start with a Thursday with a few punches. Few hits to the jaw to the bears out there from old Tesla Cat. And uh, I gotta tell you, I feel like we're gonna see some good things to finish up the month of December. And on top of that, we have ourselves uh, some, some negative catalysts to consider once we start moving towards uh, next year, 2022. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about them. Things that you need to look into if you're considering investing through 2022. And you can't just blindly go in there and think, hey, everything's gonna be rosy. We're gonna make tons of cash and everything's gonna be great. But we do have to look at some of the negative catalysts coming up. We're gonna do that. And uh, we're gonna take a look at the Shiba Inu coin price prediction with Ethereum here. We got some moves happening and I think it, we're gonna be surprised to see where this goes. But before we get into it, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that Moo Moo link down below where you can get up to five free stocks worth up to 17,500 altogether. And one share of free, uh, one free share of plug. You gotta deposit $100 or more using my link only to get that free share of plug. And you can hit the different levels get the other stocks and more importantly check out the free bitcoin you can get twenty dollars worth of free bitcoin from gemini you gotta trade a hundred dollars or more over there and i gotta tell you this is one of the best places to go they, and they got sandbox over there they got the crypto sandbox that's my metaverse play it's one of my favorites and that's not over at the biggest changes yet so you do have the opportunity to get in here and hopefully take advantage of that run up for it so this is why i like this one if you haven't done it take advantage of it we move into the youtube portfolio twenty three thousand four hundred and seventy three dollars in the profit the overall account is now at 228 we will see where this goes i am excited but if you'd like to see all my portfolios i do have the link down below to my patreon you come over and join us and i got the crypto and stock channels over there in the private discord with thousands of members now what are we talking about well we have this little article here the student loan payment restart in 55 days will strip 85 billion dollars from 18 million borrowers next year three top democrats say well this is debt this is debt i hold student loan debt i have a lot of student loan debt i i went to college i have two master's degrees and you know obviously my kids are in school i'm co-signing loans for them everything out there you know these when you sign these loans they're meant to be paid back and so it's nice to see some of it being delayed during the hard times but right now we have a record amount of jobs out there that are just waiting to just be filled and it's going to be uh, an opportunity for people out there uh, to take advantage of some of the increase in, in wages we're seeing and everything else but you can see this here they uh, at the request of Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren they asked her she asked them to figure out how much it was gonna cost resuming student loan payments on February 1st will strip 18 million borrowers of seven billion a month oh and so we're in about 85 billion a year now remember these are loans we took loans I'm one of them and so yeah when you sign that loan you're you know you're gonna have to pay it and we're gonna see when that's gonna happen now is it gonna happen on February 1st or are they gonna delay it a little bit now and that's the one thing we're waiting to see how that goes I think Omicron's gonna have a big say in this and we'll find out. But this is one of them negative catalysts I wanted to talk about because as we're sitting here, so we have the Fed raising rates and we, how many times is that gonna happen? We're gonna look into that in a second. And then of course now we have, uh, you know, student loans could start up in February. Well, they're gonna start up eventually. If it's not February, it should be in the next few months after that at the latest because you can't just keep pushing these loans off further and further down the road and eventually when they do start though you will see that uh, you're going to be taking about seven billion dollars worth of money that is spent on the economy savings whatever now having to go towards them student loans again so you got to drop that money out of the uh, the cash that's being out there spent on things and that's why you're seeing so much just demand right now in 2021 once we get to 2022 fed rates start to go up you got this loan money starting to have to come due all these things are going to be so big time negative on the 2022 uh, stock market and i've been saying this before i don't expect to see much more than a one or two percent overall gain depending on how we finish in December uh, in the 2022. But we'll talk more about that as we move forward. Now, here's the other thing. Uh, you can see a couple of articles out there. Summers urges Fed to signal for 2022 hikes to regain credibility. A lot of people out there have their opinions on how many hikes are gonna be next year. 
I'm thinking they're probably gonna have three minimum, but I know there's others out there that might think they might not even have any, you know, so don't be surprised if it's, you know, one or two. Um, hopefully, uh, we'll see inflation not be a big as concern as we've been seeing, but we'll have to wait for that. But combine that money from the loans, combine your, the Fed up in the rates to make uh, borrowing money more expensive for businesses. Put it all together, and you got some other things out there as well. And inflation should run hot for most of, if not all, of 2022, in my opinion. And then you got yourself a recipe for a nasty year in the stock market. All this easy money in 2021 is no longer going to be easy money next year. You had the Fed and uh, the tapering. We know that's all going to be done by the end, most likely at the latest June of 2022. We know the rate hikes should start right around June of 2022. We got the, the money from the student loans that won't be in the economy. You're taking seven billion out monthly now. Whoo, you guys can see where I'm going with this. It's gonna get ugly in 2022. So you need to set yourself up in your portfolio for all of this. And I've been telling you, I've been slowly switching over. You got to make sure that you are prepared for 2022. I'm looking at like some healthcare plays. You know, that's always big. That continues to grow, especially with the virus. And then you got your financials, the banking, some of the other things there. I like the insurance in there. Uh, and so there is a lot of opportunities. Energy out there is another thing I've been looking into to take advantage of those. These are the ones, these are the sectors. If you're really all about setting up a portfolio to you know, outperform in 2022. These are some of the plays I'm looking into. And I do suggest others out there to do your due diligence and make sure and see if this makes sense for your portfolio. If you believe we're gonna have a banner year and the market's gonna go up 10, 20, 30% next year, well then you wouldn't wanna be on all those. Maybe you're thinking about high growth then and all that. But personally, I don't see a great year next year. There's just way too many negative catalysts that are popping their ugly heads up for that. So I just wanted to bring that up. Now, as we head into the, the cryptos, I know a lot of people out there are wondering what's going on with the Shiba Inu coin price prediction, Mo. Well, I got you, I got you. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. Over the last week, you can see it's been down 12.44%. Uh, at the time of making this video, it's down about 0.63%. And of course, I like to compare that to Ethereum. Ethereum over the last week, only down 4%, only a third of what we saw with um, uh, Bitcoin. And then Ethereum, again, outperforming up 2% over that 24-hour period compared to Bitcoin being down a little bit. Now, I've been saying this for a long time. I fully expect Ethereum to flip Bitcoin within the next year or two, maybe three at the most. And I think you're starting to see this more and more. The utility that Ethereum has is just outstanding when it, when it comes compared to Bitcoin. And I think you're gonna see the usage argument continue to be bigger. And when they can get that energy under control, 99.9% .9 decreased after the full merge before June of 2022, hopefully, then you're gonna see even more uh, people flocking into this because that, that power usage for Bitcoin is going to become a big problem. And I think you're going to see governments around the world starting to crack down on it. And you're going to think, man, I remember when Mo talked about that a year or two or three years ago. And there you go. Then we move into sand. Like I said, this is one of my favorites. I over the last week, it gives us that buying opportunity. It's kind of flattened out now. Uh, a lot of the stocks were down over the last week. And I think for this one personally, I like where it's at over the last day. You can see it's up a little bit. And you can get this over Gemini, that link I showed you down there. You can get 20 bucks for free in Bitcoin uh, for trading hundred dollars more, you can turn it into sand and watch it grow. I like this one, it's one of the better metaverse plays in my opinion, and it has a smaller cap than some of the other ones. And then we get into the Shiba Inu coin price prediction over the last week, this also down about 14%. Like I said, it's continuing to get hammers down more than Ethereum, down more than Bitcoin. And we're waiting for this base to be found. We, we got it back up to the four, but now it's back down to mid threes, four zero three six eight three. And there's some, uh, uh, we know that as this moves on, then we can compare that. You can see right here, I have all four prices. Shiba Inu right now down about 0.57, Doge down 0.29, and that's down to 17 cents now. And we got Bitcoin 0.58 and Ethereum down 0.73 at the time of making this. So we'll find out how it does, but personally, I still think there's gonna be a run, a blow off top, if you will. Now, is it closer? I know I say, I think it could get down to dropping a zero, one something. I know other people think they're actually gonna add a zero. So we're gonna see how the utilization comes 
uh, more big businesses picking it up. Is it going to be easily usable for a payment system, or you know what? How how can we move forward with the Shiba Inu coin price and see some burn on there? There's a lot of things that can affect it, and uh, I'm sure uh, that's going to happen over years, not just a few days or weeks. So those who are in it, be, you know, it's either you're patient, you set some stop losses, figure out how much you're willing to lose and get out. Uh, or you're just well diversified like I am, take your position and let her go. And that's how I'm handling. So this is it. This is your update for today. Hopefully we'll see some good things out there. I'm excited uh, for this afternoon's video. I have a lot more to talk about at that time. Uh, right now though, let's just hope we have a solid start to this day and we'll see how much money we can make. Now, if you haven't done it, you can get that easy free money down below. Like I said, you can go over to Moomoo and put $100 in there using my link only and you can get that free share of plug. Everyone else, you don't get that free share of plug. And you can get up to five free stocks worth up to 3,500 each, depending on how much you deposit. And then of course, Gemini, take advantage of that link. Like I said, you get $20 free in Bitcoin just for trading $100 more and you get that opportunity to trade for sand, which is one of the best ones out there in my opinion. Uh, I do have my links down there to Coinbase where you can get yourself some free Bitcoin for doing the email ID verification. And on top of that, we do have BlockFi where you can get up to 250 in free Bitcoin for doing the email or uh, for uh, depositing. Take a look at the different deposit levels. I have my uh, link down below over to Patreon. Join us, see what I'm buying and selling, see all the portfolios. And of course, we got the private Discord with thousands of members. Man, we're probably over there right now shooting the breeze, figuring out how we can make some cash. Come over and join us. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.